Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow brothers in Christ. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having an amazing day, guys. Let's get it going back with another banger video in these end days, guys. It is a beautiful day here in Canada. Come on. We got a guy paraglading, paraglading, paragliding back there, guys. We have a nice lake. Wow, that is super turquoise looking. Very nice. Uh, the trees, you guys can't really see back there, but they will start to blossom very soon. It's been taking quite some time. They should be kind of budding by now, but very soon those will flourish. And uh, yeah, we'll see some of the nice spring or uh, summer colors. So anyways, guys, in today's video, I titled it, I believe I titled it, Stay Away From All Women. And I'm being dead serious, guys. You know, I think to some of you guys, maybe you take this as a joke, like maybe it's some like red pill tactic video of like no contact, women attraction. I could not be bothered that, by that, guys. I, uh, I've been celibate for going on three years now. I do not talk to women whatsoever. Do I have the ability and potential to? Absolutely. Does my penis below uh, through lust uh, really act up and, and want me to speak to these women in, in more provocative ways? You bet your butt it does. But guys, as a follower of Christ, I realize that if this is not my wife, which it <laughs> more than times is not, um, then I'm not going to speak to them. And women, guys, are a distraction. And I'm not just saying this in the typical red pill way. I, I mean, like, no, no, no. They are a distraction from your soul's purpose following your mission through Jesus Christ. That's the difference between me and these other guys like Hamza. I'm not just saying, you know, they're going to take your money or do this, do that. I actually have no beef with women. I think women are beautiful creatures. They're made in the image of God. They're there to serve men, to be their helpmate. And I would like to get married in the future, guys. I have no quarrel with women. I think they are, I think femininity is beautiful. I think most women today are completely corrupt, as do I think most men are corrupt. That is, that is an absolute fact. But my friends, I'm here to tell you that as a young man of God, a warrior of Christ, especially if you were in your, your infancy phase, right? You're a baby Christian, guys. I'm talking from year one to year three you know i'm only now beginning to become more of like an experienced veteran maybe but maybe veteran's not the right word but an experienced follower of christ where i've been born again now coming up to three years and i uh my spirit it's like spider-man senses my spidey senses my spiritual senses are becoming much more refined right but when you're in year one guys you know year one even year two you're a baby you're still you're, you're, it's very easy for you to get swapped up by the enemy, right? That's the parable of the sower and the seeds. I believe that's in Matthew 13. See, the 7 or 13, I'm going to say it's 13, the first chunk of the chunk of the chapter where it speaks about the sower and the seeds, right? There's a farmer and he puts, you know, you think of like a, like a bucket of seeds, right? He's throwing some seeds here, 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 right? And some seeds fall on good nurturing soil, right? And they endure. They stand the test of time and they blossom. They flourish into strong... Uh, Christian trees, you could say, followers of Christ, right? Other seeds aren't so lucky though. Some other seeds they fall onto maybe bad soil, right? They just, they don't take root. Bye-bye. It's a lot of Christians, right? Christians. Some seeds, and this is where I'm making this video, fall onto, let's say, maybe, maybe good seed or good soil, but guess what happens, man? Maybe you weren't being sober and vigilant enough. You were entertaining these women that came to snatch the seed, John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and that seed was swapped up by a little bird, by a seagull. We have seagulls here in Canada. I don't know if you guys have seagulls, but it was swapped up by a bird, the thief. And now you, my friend, never got your saving faith. You're not truly born again. You were coming to Christ, that's John 6.44. He was pulling you, luring you. God was pulling you to Christ to become born again. But my friend, you did not endure far enough far enough, I should say, um, to have that, that change in mind, heart, and become born again. So that's why I'm making this video, guys. If you are a baby Christian, you should avoid all women completely. I mean, even if you aren't a Christian, guys, most women, you know, this is going to get a little deep. And yes, I still have my mug. Maybe you guys were wondering, David, where's your mug? It's here. This is my water mug. Don't you worry. This is my coffee mug. It's still relatively early for me, guys. Early enough where I need coffee. Um, you know, this might kind of like offend some of you guys, but believe me, I'm, I'm done, you know, what's offensive, what's not. This is like David unfiltered. Um, the, the enemy, Satan, guys, take, just relax, okay? We're going to be here a while. I'm going to go a little deep with you guys. Satan, generally speaking, hops into women before he does into men. This is why with Adam and Eve, he hopped into Eve to bite the apple. This is why throughout the entire Bible, Samson, Delilah, Adam and Eve, Sodom, Gomorrah, Lot and his wife, um, even Job, right? His, his wife told him to curse God. Many times, Satan will influence the woman before the man. And the reason for that is because women are weaker vessels, right, guys? This is biblical. Don't have to take my word for it. Um, and the problem with that 
right? Now, 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 if you're married, if you pr this is why we literally have to protect women, guys. There's a reason for this. It's not just, oh, men are oppressive, you know, how, you know, women can't take care of themselves. Well, they really can't, guys. I mean, this is why we have this whole Free Palestine movement, BLM, you know, uh, any, or any other Marxist agenda, guys, to ruin the West. It, it's really run by women because women are consumers. They, women are like, like piggies, they just eat everything. They even if it's like shit, women will just eat, eat, eat. They'll consume. This is why marketing is all geared towards women. They'll just oh, new virus, take the thirtieth booster. I'm gonna get my son. They're, 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 they're fearful by nature. Men are not. You have to understand this. In our biology, men are not like this, right? We're very different, guys. Don't let the media tell you that we're the same. We're very far from it. Now, because of that, women will be much more easily deceived by Satan than men will. And the problem with that, my friends, is most men. I'm talking to you guys, not all of you, but, but quite a few of you, you are not strong enough in the faith yet. You have not built your spidey senses far enough that you can't detect this. You cannot detect whether this woman or not is ruled by Satan or temporarily oppressed, right? I know, guys, we all can be oppressed by Satan, not possessed if you're a born-again believer, but we can be oppressed, like, like kind of, you know, blinded temporarily, right? You must be careful, man. Guys, I evangelize more or less full time, and that's my goal for these next upcoming months. The channel's booming. Glory to God. It's 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 it's, it's fantastic. I evangelize, and I am the evangelist. I have other men who come out with me, but the reason they are not the main evangelist, I'm just gonna. I hope they're watching this video, is because uh, they're with women. They fornicate with women, and they're weak evangelists. You cannot be a strong evangelist if you are with a woman fornicating. Right? Now, I'm not saying you can't do it if you're married, right? That, that, that's fine. But these men are not married and they're fornicating with women. Now, I'm not going to say who they are, but um, it's made them weak evangelists. Guys, I cannot tell you to stop smoking weed if I still smoke weed behind closed doors. Right? Even if I'm a righteous guy, I go to the gym, I take my cold shower, I take my vitamins, I eat my vegetables. Hey, man, I do ching, 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 ching. But if I still smoke weed behind closed doors, I'm lying to you. And this is why I believe God has, 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 has called me to be an evangelist because I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, but I don't hide anything to you guys. This is my life. My life is, is kind of what you see here, right? I work labor. I wake up. I lift. I make videos. I evangelize. And that's it. I don't have friends. I don't have a girlfriend. I, 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 I'm all in with Christ, man. Um, so you guys really need to be cognizant of this, my friends. A lot of you as men are, you're, you're biting this bait of entertaining women, of, of fornicating, as, as I did in the past, guys. I make that very clear, right? Um, entertaining women, chasing women, right? How to beast, you know, stuff is cold, just kind of like degenerate red pill. And it's completely satanic. And it is snatching the seed that God has given all of you guys to do. In Jeremiah, God says that he knew you while he was forming you in the womb. I think even before in the womb. Um, but you guys are throwing away your purpose. You're throwing away your anointing, my friend. Mm, that is very key because of the short-term pleasure uh, with women. It's, it's a joke, guys. It's disastrous. So my video here, my message today for you guys is to avoid all women completely. Even my friend. Even my friend. I want to finish this video with this, this example. Amen. I told this to my buddy who comes out evangelizing with me, which is he's a great guy, by the way. He's slowly giving up this woman. So I'll, I'll give him credit for that. He's slowly giving it up. It's taken him a lot longer than he should have. He should have ripped it off like a bandit like I told him to. I hope you're watching this. But he's, he, he's slowly getting there. And if not, I'm going to tell him, look, man, you got to smarten up because this is getting out of hand. Um, uh, the, uh, just to finish here with the story time, because I know it's kind of getting bright. The first day I went out evangelizing, guys, about a month, month and a half ago, after my evangelism was done, there was a very, there were actually two of them, very pretty women who came up to me uh, right after I was done. And, you know, they congratulated, hey, you know, thank you so much, God bless. But there was the one, one out of the two who was very interested. I'm talking like, bro, <laughs> like the chemistry was there, right? Uh, she was feeling it and uh, I felt the allure, I felt the impulse uh, from down below to immediately, you know, give her my Instagram to reach out to say, hey, you know, we should, uh, you know, like, 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 like DM me, shoot me a DM. And although I was very tempted at that time, right, I knew <laughs> I could like, right, our spirit's always raging war against our flesh. I knew David from God. Don't do this, man. Don't entertain this right now. I've got big plans for you. I got big, I got a big calling for you right now. Now is not the time <laughs> to get into a relationship or to, you know, see, it's just not the time, man. Even though she was pretty, she seemed like she was pretty based. It's just not the time. And so I didn't, I didn't reach out. I, I didn't give her my Instagram. I, I said nothing. I just, you know, I thank you. Amen. God bless. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. 
uh, the ministry took off right after that. I truly believe that was a test from God where he was saying, are you going to take the bait? And I didn't take it and the ministry just, and now thinking about it, yeah, I would have no time. Um, and I believe, guys, that was a potential test from God. That could have been an attack from the enemy. Now, I want to make this clear just to finish this video. I'm not saying, guys, that all women are enemies or they're all bad or they're all like assassins coming to kill you. That's not what I'm saying, guys. Um, but the vast majority are. I'll just be brutally honest with you. In these end days, guys, the vast majority are. And if you are an anointed warrior of, of Christ, of God, man, the blood is on your hands. That's John 12, 48. For whom much is given, much will be required. So be vigilant in these end days. Avoid all women completely until you are grounded, my friend. You are certified. You have your, your roots deep in Christ where you can objectively and spiritually discern, right? Is this my wife? Am I in a position where I can entertain this right now? But you know what? I would say the majority of you are not and should not because uh, our main mission, at least in my opinion, is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, to be like Paul, uh, not like these kind of like cuckold married Christian men who have lost their purpose because, you know, they just want to raise a family. I think that's fine. Good for you. But I would much rather be like Paul right now and uh, save the world. So amen, guys. I'm going to finish it there. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I know the lighting is kind of getting a bit funny. Uh, that's what happens when you film outside. If you guys want, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching below where you can work with me on a personal level. You guys know what's up. Taking those men who are serious in their walk with Christ, ready to evolve and impact the world as masculine men. And we'll finish it there, guys. Have an amazing day. God bless. I'll check you next video. Till then, much love. Peace.